Hello ladies. The purpose of this video is to show you how I pack my kit. So if you're new, this could be very helpful, but I do want to say one thing. This is by no means the only or the best way to pack your kit. There are certain things that I'm going to go through that would make no sense to you where you're living. However, if you can get something from this, fabulous. I do want you to know that the way that I pack my kit has everything to do with my closing sheet. So in other words, it has the Miracle Set, the Microderm Abrasion, the Firming Eye Cream, and some sort of, uh, we call it dash out the door, color, super fast, easy thing, okay, in your kit. All right. So let me first show you how I walk into an appointment. And I actually did just get done with an appointment, so this is perfect. Uh, Michelle Cunningham has a great video on this. And I think she calls it um, hot mess versus hot chick or something like that. Because really, you have like seven seconds to make a first impression. You obviously made a good first impression if you're walking to somebody's door, either for a facial or a party. Yay! Okay, so this is what I do. Um, I do actually have three bags, but it looks like this. This one goes behind me, this one goes on the side of me, and my kit, and I make it look as light as humanly possible, I carry like this. Okay, just like, eh, whatever. But I want you to see that I'm holding it like this because I really like to romance the kit, okay? And if they're seeing it right from the get-go, they're going to remember it later on in the party. Okay, so let me show you what I'm doing. This bag right here, one of our new totes, at least at the time this video was made, has paperwork in it, okay? It has extras of things. It has um, referral, hmm, very important, referral sheets. It has... Um, Hostess packets, a couple of hostess packets at least, um, extra books, um, anything extra I can think of, a couple little prizes if I'm doing a party, and let me think, a notepad, um, and probably some welcome packet materials, so some sort of recruiting materials, um, especially, hold on, especially this. So this right here I have laminated. Um, I do have ones to pass out, but the laminated version works really well to pass around. Okay, so that's this bag. Super light, super small. This bag is actually an insulated bag because I just moved to Arizona. Um, a short time ago and you can't keep anything in your car if you I can't even keep stuff in my car in my garage at night because it right now it's too hot so I've made an adjustment here you can see if this fits you or not the important part is the kit right so this right here you know it has a bag inside and I'm gonna take this out and show you what I put in it and again, this is a basic appointment, so even though I'm prepared at all times for something like a color appointment, or I like to show them the colors, okay, it doesn't mean I'm using them at the party, because that would just be bad to show everything at one party. Okay, so let me see if I can make this work. If you can see this, the middle pocket, I actually have eight mirrors in here. <laughs> Eight mirrors, maybe nine, fit in here. So I love, I adore people who pack their kit with like the little mesh bags and the mirrors inside already with cotton balls and pens and everything ready to set out. And if that works for you, perfect. For me, this works better. It's totally up to you. So I keep my mirrors separate so I have more room because that's more important to me right now. On this side, I have the little trays, I have headbands, I have an entire uh, botanical set, I have brush cleaner, eye makeup remover, and then on this side, I have a little pen holder, I keep a couple of these, only a couple, I'll tell you why, 
And thank you to my senior, Julie Holmberg, who gave me this idea. These are amazing. I can't fit as many in the bag, but you just need a couple. So this is actually my new sink. Okay, so what do I do from here? Of course, the most essential part is now in my insulated bag. One second. And that's the skincare and my roll up bag with skincare and my dash out the door stuff. So, this is what it looks like. Ta -da! And I've done this from the very beginning, and it's really important to me because my clothes, like many, is based around the roll up bag and romancing this bag. And romancing this bag. <laughs> okay. So, what I do is I load. The cleanser and the moisturizer, what I now call the papa and the mama, the two little babies or the day and the night solution, and I tend to keep a couple because if I run out, I am not lost. In this pocket, I have four CC creams. I have each of the CC creams because you can build a business on CC cream. And microdermabrasion, firming eye cream. There's a translucent powder in here if I, it's like you know, urgent, somebody needs powder, and I don't have my other mineral powders with me. And then my little dash out the door, I have a couple of cream eyes, um, and the cheek and lip stick, what I call now a chubby stick, <laughs> um, mascara, wands, okay, done. It's rolled up into a bag, and I actually used to keep this right on top of my mirrors in the middle compartment and it actually fits on eight mirrors and the bag actually closes, okay? <laughs> but if you live in a hot state and you can't keep your bag in the trunk for longer than an hour or their drive to this place, then this is why I've transferred this to a um, insulated bag. Okay, so the rest of what I have, these little bowls I used to use as a sink. Now I use them as little trash containers. So I only carry like maybe four of them, three or four of them. And I put them around the table and I, I explain to them that this is their little trash receptacle. And then these are their sinks. I also carry the cleansing pads or, of course, the ones that, we sell, that Mary Kay sells. But these things are wonderful. And you can use them for eyes and for the entire face. They're literally cleansing pads, and I found them in the baby section. I carry a brush set with me all the time, because if I do have a color appointment, then I'm ready for it. And then this is something that has helped me a lot. I don't know how duplicatable this is, but this is actually a little 31 bag. Um, it's got a couple of things like tickets and a couple gift certificates or something in it. It's just a few little goodies, like prize goodies I've collected over time. And then the essential part of this, I have my closing sheet. Wait, hold on. Okay. Goddess on the Go from Julie Potts, my incredible mentor. And on the back, it has pink. And so this is how I share the opportunity with P-I-N-K. So some people use Mrs. Cab or Mr. Ab or it's wonderful, whatever you use. But closing sheet, super important. Profile cards, of course, and receipts. And then I have some extras in here and a couple items like a mascara things that I can get to super fast. So I actually set this on the table. Nobody knows what it is, but it looks cute and it's pink. And then I set this on the table, and then I set this on the table with the mirror, tray, squirt. I only actually squirt now, one, two, three, four, four slots. So now I actually use, and I think I ran out of my cleansing cloths. So I have started to use cleansing cloths instead of a cleanser at my appointments. So I bring the cleanser and I set it out. I'm going to sit down here. So though I bring the cleanser and I set it out on the table because I want them to see the whole set. I want them to see the whole family, right? So I set out the miracle set and I put the eye cream next to it. 
and I put in the tray the day solution, night solution, moisturizer, and eye cream on the, on the tray. And then I have my cleansing cloth. And I actually cut those in half because why not? You can save some money and you can show them how easy it is and how great the cloths are because they're so small and they work so brilliantly. And then I squirt the cleansing cloth, or they do, squirt the cleansing cloth. They can squirt each other if they want. Okay, and, and then we do the steps, the other steps. So the day solution, half side, um, night I do on the elbow. Um, so they can feel how different it is from the other elbow when they're done and then moisturizer and then eye cream um, Simple really quick. I do usually do satin lips and I have a little spot for that on the tray um, Microdermabrasion I, it depends, but I definitely talk about it and, You know based on needs and then boom 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 dash out the door so I hope that helped to see how I pack my kit. Um, I do do, um, for my dash out the door, I do cream eyeshadow. I just give a couple of choices. I do mascara, um, the two-in-one cheek and lipstick. I just put a little bit on their tray. Sometimes I'll even just choose a color for them or choose a color for everybody. I just want it to be very quick and very smooth. And then they can dip into it for their cheek and then dip into it for their lip. And then I have them select a lip gloss to finish it off. So it's super fast because the main thing that I want to emphasize at an appointment is the closing sheet. <laughs> and this is why me having a roll up bag with all of my stuff loaded in it, I mean, they can see how much I can get in it. Um, yeah, mine is five years old, wait, maybe six years old, and it still looks amazing, and I actually tell them that, and I romance it. I really romance it. And then somewhere as I'm doing my sales, I, I switch to talking about the business. And then I ask five essential questions, and those are, um, what would you like to know more about? Okay, that's one. Two is... These are the things that we have in the catalog. I kind of go down to a, a breakdown. And then I ask, so at your next appointment, actually, let's reverse that. I say that first so that then they can say what they would like to learn more about. The second one is I'm stressing at their next appointment, they can do whatever they want to learn more about. But how would they like to have that appointment? Would they like to be a face model for me at one of my events? Would they like to have a party and earn free stuff? Okay, or would they like to just have a friend? Okay, and then I ask the, probably the best question is about the business. And I use the ABC method. And that is absolutely, Alicia, sign me up, why not, for $100? Why not? I know you're going to be there for me and I can really make this into what I want. B is buy me some coffee because I will buy you some coffee because you thought something I said sounded great, but you're just not sure if you're the sales type or, you know, if this fits your schedule. We'll just talk because information is super important and you can't get enough of it. And what if this is something that could be for you? If you missed out, that would be sad. And C is can't see myself doing this right now, happy to be a customer and pay full price. So a lot of what I'm saying here is nothing new to anything else that's out there. Of course, I ask for referrals and I do this amazing uh, texting referral, fabulous referral game. It's a spinoff of the referral game. Go, go look it up. It's amazing. But I hope that, that the, the packing of the kit is basically a thought process for how can I make my appointment simple and look good when I come to the door, those that first lasting impression, and have access to the things that I really need quickly. And so this is why I do what I do.